Hey guys, welcome back to Family Mendoza Vlogs. Today I have a totally different video again. I'm doing a pregnancy video, but this video is going to be pregnancy hacks. So if you guys are pregnant or like to look at pregnancy videos, then stay tuned and keep watching. I decided to do this video because I remember from my first pregnancy, um, I had a lot of trouble trying to buy some of the items. Um, one thing they were really pricey, two I was kind of like in a budget, and three I was only going to be using it for one time. Well that's what I thought. This video is going to help you out for your second pregnancy, your third pregnancy, or your first, and it's going to help you out through all, throughout the whole pregnancy. Alright guys, and today I am looking all cute. Well that's what I feel like, but um, let's get started. Number one, uh, buying maternity clothes that you actually like or that you're actually going to love meaning try to get clothes that either maternity or not maternity but clothes that you could use after when you're done being pregnant so I have a couple of little items here that I want to show you guys um I've been using a lot of maxi dresses because I could use them right now that I'm pregnant and then when my belly goes away I could use them at that time too um I've been buying clothes at Ross I bought some at Walmart and I got like an item one or two items at Fashion Nova so when I'm talking about things that you're going to love or going to like after you're pregnant, like I said, the maxi dresses. And I will also be posting some pictures here so you guys can see it. So here's this dress. It's a maxi dress, which looks super cute. Um, you can wear it with sandals. You can wear it with um, tennis shoes or put like a little top thing on top if you don't want your arms to show. Um, right now that it's super hot, I kind of been wearing without anything on top. But if I do wear something on top, kind of wear like a little blazer. But this is one of them. Again, it doesn't have like the little bands, the stretchy bands for the belly side. So this one stretches by itself and I could wear it now that I'm pregnant or when I'm not pregnant anymore. Another dress that I really like, I purchased this one from Fashion Nova. See the tag? <laughs> And it's the green kind of army dress. And it's another maxi dress. Um, I wear this. I've been wearing this a lot. And I'll show you guys pictures again, like I said. But again, you can pair with tennis shoes, with high heels, with sandals. And these are mostly some of the clothes that I've been wearing. I've been loving. Um, another thing that I purchased from Ross has been my, my little shorts. Um, these shorts are super cute. They're like in style. They have the little rips. Um, the only thing is does have the maternity band. You guys can see the maternity band. But again, Ross is not that expensive. So I purchased these for like $10.99. And since right now it's really hot, I've been wearing these like mostly every day. <laughs> not the same ones though. I have three pairs. So I've been wearing shorts kind of like every day because it's super hot. Um, another thing that I also recommend is the shirts from Walmart. The shirt that I have on right now is actually from Walmart and this shirt as well. As you can see, they're kind of loose shirts, kind of, I don't know if this one's v-neck, but yeah, I kind of like the v-neck shirts. So I've been wearing a lot of like, um, loose kind of shirts, not really loose because you don't want to look too big. You kind of want to show the belly a little. So I kind of, if I'm, if I was medium, I'll go for a large. And it kind of little tight, so it kind of shows your belly. To number two, and it's get cheap bra extensions instead instead of purchasing new bras. Meaning, once you start, you know your pregnancy, a lot of changes happen. Your boobies start growing, your side could start growing, and pretty soon you're ha you're gonna have to be purchasing new bras. Um, for a couple of times, I. I, w I bought already, um, I think I already purchased like two bras, but the thing is because I didn't know this existed, existed. So now that I know, instead of buying some, I'll just have my favorite bra, add the extension, and ta-da. Okay, so let me show you guys extensions. And I had like, let's say my Victoria's Secret bra, my favorite one. And then, um... And then the bras, like, you know, then they won't fit. So what you do is you go ahead and go onto Amazon. And I purchased these just to show you guys because I was like, oh my God, I have to get them. 
because I have my favorite bras and then I can't even wear them. Okay, so this is how they look. It's three colors, so if you do have like the beige one, black and white, then you could go ahead and use them. Um, and they also have like a little stretch, so they'll stretch. And what you do is you hook these on, and then these will hook onto the other side. So then after that, you have more stretchiness and more length to the bra, and it won't be hurting you. Okay, so here's number three, and it's choose a cute water bottle. Okay, so I know a lot of us, we have a water bottle, and you look at it, and we're like, wow, like that's, that's plain. Like, I don't even want to drink water. So here I'll show you guys a little picture as well of some cute water bottles that you can buy. And then um, a cool way you could do is kind of write down the times of the when you should be drinking water. Like let's say 9 a.m., 12, 2, 4, 6, and 8. And that's how much water you should be drinking. You should be at least drinking like 32 ounces of water a day or more, actually like more but we'll stay with that okay so let's head on to number four okay so if you're feeling tired around three to five in the afternoon it, this could be a sign that you're probably not drinking enough water so you should be drinking at least three liters a day meaning 32 ounces that's why i said 32 ounces or more so 32 ounces or more a day which is three liters so like three of these little water bottles. Um, and then let's say your first water bottle, you drink it from 9 to 10 a.m. The second one, you could drink it from 12 to 1 p.m. And the third one, you could drink it around 5 p.m. That way, you'll be done drinking all your water through the day. And at night, you won't have to be waking up to do those little bathroom pit stops that you have to do. Wake up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom, and then you can't go back to sleep. So that will be a good thing to do. So now I'm going to talk about number five. And I need to get a hair tie. So Alright guys, so number five is really easy trick to do. And I'll show you guys how to do it. But you'll get your favorite jeans. And then this one, you use a hair tie um, to make your jeans stretch. Okay, so these are my some of my favorite jeans. I love them because of the rips. As you guys can see super cute but then now that my belly's big I can't really fit them so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get one of your hair scrunchies you're gonna loop it inside this area you guys can see like this and then you're gonna do this to bring it out and then your head grab it and you see how that made it to like a little tie right here right and then after that, you're going to just loop it into this area. And now you're able to wear your favorite jeans. Okay. But now let's say you're saying, but how am I going to wear the jeans if the zipper doesn't even close, right? Okay. So let's say it closes just halfway. Okay. This is another trick. And this is going to be number Again, let's say you have it like this, but you're like, oh my god, like when I put it on, my belly shows, right? And the zipper doesn't go the way up. How am I going to wear my favorite jeans? Okay, so this is going to be number six, is make your own maternity band. Um, I don't know if you guys seen, in some places they sell already the maternity band, which is like half of a shirt that covers just the half area by your pants. And that way it is, so you could either wear pants like this, like creating your own little tie and the band will cover half of the area from your zipper so then it'll kind of seem like you have two shirts under one shirt and then I hope you kind of hold the pants in the area so let me show you guys what I'm talking about so you can purchase again one of these shirts at Walmart or any type of store that you like to or even if you already have one that you're just like don't really care for go ahead and grab one of these so what you're going to do um, is that you're going to cut, it says cut two thirds from the bottom. So from the bottom, you're going to cut two thirds, it's kind of like this I feel. So it will be kind of halfway through here. Okay. So I'm going to cut it and once you cut it you're only left with the bottom area. That's the bottom area is going to be your pregnancy band. 
it's going to be the one that holds your zipper and your pants in place so you can wear your favorite jeans. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about right now. And yeah, this is actually really cool because I've seen some of the bands like at Target and I think they're kind of pricey for like one or two. So I'm kind of like, damn, I don't want to, you know, spend, spend too much money. But if you can make your own, then why not do that, right? Found and go on to number seven, and this is a DIY maternity pants. Um, I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need so you can make your favorite pants into your maternity pants. What you need is scissors, uh, stretch waistband elastic. Um, I bought these at Walmart. I kind of recommend if you could find like thicker ones. That would be perfect because where we're going to put them, they should be a little longer, I believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be crazy enough to do two strips and put them next to each other like this. Um, these were really cheap. I think they were just $1.97, so I was like, why not? And you're going to need your favorite pants. All right. So in this part, what you're going to be doing... If you can see, this is the pocket area. What you're going to be doing is cutting the pocket area. So you're going to go ahead and cut it all the way. And then you're going to remove that part. Okay. Oh, and I forgot you're also going to need a sewing machine or something to sew with. But pants are actually going to stretch and your belly is going to fit in your favorite pants. And this is what I was saying that I was going to put too. So the part that's going to be cut out, you're going to put, you're going to measure it, and you kind of want to measure it double, so it'll be kind of like, maybe like this much, and you're going to cut it out, and then we're going to sew it. So I'm going to do, let's say I'm going to do this much, I'll do one, and then I'm going to put the top one, that'll be two. So for me that I'm doing, it's going to have two, but normally... Like I said, if you find a bigger band, then it'll be easier to just do one. I'm going to have to be doing two. And once those two are put on, they're going to be able to stretch. And your favorite jeans are going to be able to fit you. So, hey, why not, right? And again, you're saving money because you're not buying pregnancy pants. And you're making your own, your favorite pants, you know, ones that you could wear while you're pregnant. And I believe even if when you're done being pregnant... You can wear them still. They'll just have, instead of having pockets, to have little black things right here. All right. And then once you're done doing that, go ahead and sew it. You can either sew it by hand or sew it on your sewing machine. But either way, you could go ahead and do that. And there you go. You can wear your favorite pants. Number eight is using, I forgot the name of this tape. It's the Kinosis tape. Or we'll put it down below. But what this is going to help you do is going to help you give you support from your back, support on your belly, and it's going to help you for all that good stuff. Um, I was looking into Amazon to purchase, it's kind of more like a, like a belly band, and what it does, it helps you lift your belly and it helps you support your back, helps you if you're like in pain or you're having pressure down there. Um, Actually, I've been having pressure a couple days and today down there when I'm like laying down and I do like a move. I've been having pressure and I'm like, oh my God, it's just that I guess the baby is growing and he's putting more pressure on the pelvic area. So I was kind of looking into what other hacks I could do other than buying that little band, the, the belly band, because I think on Amazon, the belly band is like, you can find one, I think the cheapest is like 30 something. But again, I'm thinking to myself, why am I going to buy the band when I'm probably just going to be pregnant for this time, wait five, six more years, and maybe later I have no idea, you know? So I'm like, I'm just going to be wasting money, money that I don't even have and trying to be in a budget. So I researched pregnancy hacks and I found this hack, which I was like, it would be good to put it up because a lot of us do have that pressure on the pelvic area and you're just like, why do I have it? It's because the baby's pushing putting pressure on your pelvic area and that is what's going on so I researched this um, if it was safety to use or, uh, one thing I do see that it says here sorry it says if you have skin sensitivities cancer or pregnant 
consult your doctor before use. So disclaimer, I'm not a doctor. Um, I cannot give you advice to use it right away. So before you do anything to use it, research and go ahead and ask your doctor. But I did read that it doesn't have any type of medicines that's going to affect your pregnancy. But before you use it, talk to your doctor. So um, I purchased this at Walmart. It was only $9.99. And what it does, it's kind of like a tape. So you'll be able to put it on your belly and it kind of lifts the weight. So there's different ways to put it. Um, I'll show you guys here how to put it on. So you can either get two straps and just put it up both ways going up just to lift that belly area. But yeah, this is another great hack to do um, if you're not really, if you're in a budget or don't have enough money to buy like the band band, then this will be perfect for that. And it's going to take a lot of relief from, from, you know, the baby pushing and all that stuff. Number nine. And it's using an uh, undergarment. You're probably going to be like, what are you talking about? We can't use one. We're pregnant. Blah, blah, blah. Um, a lot of people that are not pregnant use it so they won't have like a little bulge, like a little belly coming out. Um, it kind of softens the area of your sides. But I was researching because um, when I wear my maxi dresses, even though I'm pregnant, I'm also kind of chunky. So you can kind of see more of my little lumps, right? So I was like, well, I don't want to be wearing a maxi dress and looking really ugly and chunky, even though my husband keeps saying, you're pregnant, of course you're going to be fat and you're going to have a belly. I'm like, yeah, but not if other places that I wanted to show you. Know. So I was searching at Amazon and I found an undergarment that I could wear and you could wear if you're pregnant and it's going to look, your dresses are going to look perfect. Like. I love it because it smooths out my belly, the little side lumps that I'm growing because I'm, I'm, I'm getting fatter, you know, growing, getting bigger. And the little side belly, I mean the little side lumps are kind of disappearing. It looks more like a slim and then your belly and then your figure shows better. Okay, so this is the undergarment that I found at Amazon. As you can see, it helps you also, this is what I also read, it helps you also for the thigh area because when you're pregnant or you're just chunky like your legs rub against each other and then you're gonna get hurt and then you're gonna be like oh my god right this would be the perfect thing to wear um so you'll put it on and this part stretches this for your belly area and i also like it because it has this thick area right here kind of supports the belly i think it was like 20 I actually don't even remember but I was like why not I'm gonna be pregnant for a couple of months and if I'm gonna be wearing my maxi dresses I don't want to look fat I want to look figure you know my figure and stuff so check this out at Amazon I love it so far like I said my dresses look so I believe that is about it all the pregnancy hacks that I have I've been using um, I'm loving them and they're great so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll try to put more videos up I always kind of think about what to put up next so yeah see you guys soon in my next video don't forget to comment subscribe and let me know what you think if you have any other hacks that you want to let me know or let everybody know then just write it down below in the comment bye you guys see you guys soon in my next video